Hey YouTube, around this time last year, I got drunk and broke my MacBook Pro. So I bought a new one. Well, I recently fixed my old one and I found out in a lot of ways my old one is faster than my new one. So I decided to upgrade my new MacBook Pro. I doubled the RAM and added a faster hard drive. Hey YouTube, I'm about to crack open my 2011 MacBook Pro and put in some new RAM. I'm gonna be putting in eight gigs. It's gonna be a jump by four because I already have four in there. So it's doubling my RAM. I've been having some performance issues, so I was hoping this would alleviate that. These are a little longer than the rest of the uh, screws in here. Now, I recently modded my uh, MacBook a little earlier this week. I put in this uh, 750, 7200 RPM uh, hard drive to make it a little faster and add a little more storage. It's really easy to do. As a matter of fact, I did it with a hangover. But today, I'm putting in these. So what I'm gonna do is take out my old RAM by pulling these little levers to the side and they pop right up. And pull them again. For those of you wondering what I'll be doing with these, I'll be giving them to homeless people without computers. Uh, just because it's the holiday season and I feel like giving. Pop these new ones out. Kind of hard to get to. There we go. And do not touch the gold part. That's just a rule of thumb. Pop it in. Push it down. Second one. Yikes, I feel like I'm gonna break it. Popped right out. Pop it in. Jump. Now let's turn it on and see if it works. Now YouTube, since I made the upgrade, my computer is noticeably faster. What do I do with my computer? Well, I watch a lot of porn. And I edit videos. I edit different formats, but primarily AVC HD. And video editing is where I notice the improvement the most. I switch between iMovie and Final Cut Pro, which are both resource hogs. But since I made the upgrade, projects that used to take hours to render take only minutes. And how much did all of this cost me? Well, the RAM was 35 bucks and the hard drive was about 80. So altogether, it costs less than it would cost just to upgrade your hard drive from the Apple Store which is 150. I paid less than 120. So I had enough to upgrade it a little bit more. I got this new keyboard cover and also got this little carbon fiber uh, thing to go around my keyboard. So is the upgrade worth it? Absolutely. If you already have a 2011 MacBook Pro. If you're thinking about getting a new one from Apple, don't do it. You shouldn't do it for the same reason this will probably be my last Apple product. Because that company is being run by jerk offs. The newer ones, you can't do what I just did. The RAM is friggin' soldered to the logic board. Why would any company do that? Maybe they're just all evil dicks. Whatever the reason is, they will get none of my money until they stop being such jerk offs. 